senior editor at CNET.com, and we are here taking a look at Dell's new Studio 15. Now, figuring out Dell's product line has actually been pretty easy lately. They've had the low-end Inspiron line and then the high-end XPS line. Well, now they've got something right in the middle. It's the new Studio line, and it takes some of the high-end features from the XPS, uh, but comes in a few hundred dollars cheaper, depending on how you configure it. Now, you can see the design is clearly modeled on the popular XPS M1530. It's got the same kind of rounded hinge right here, even though it's a little more angular on the new Studio. The power button is actually right here on the hinge now. But because this is kind of the cheaper version, instead of brushed metal on the wrist rest, you have plastic, but you do have a lot of different color and pattern options for the wrist rest and the back of the lid, a lot of personalization options. So there are a lot of features we like on the Studio 15. Some of them you can actually find even on the cheaper Inspiron models now, like the touch-sensitive media control keys and the HDMI output over here on the side. You also get a slot-loading optical drive, and right here in the Express Card slot, there's a little credit card media remote that you can pop in there and use to uh, watch movies and music from across the room. So if you want to trade up from kind of the plasticky look of the Inspiron line, but the XPS is, well, they can get up near $2,000 very easily, well, then you're probably right in the target market for Dell's new studio line. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Dell Studio 15.